Oregon Natural Step members are great role models for anyone interested in making their business more sustainable. It's not incremental improvements all be 10% better or 20% better. It's there is an end goal, how do we get there? And the Natural Step provides that kind of compass. It's a, it's a very needed and, and very beneficial organization for a company like TerraClean. We need to reflect on if we're taking things out of the ground, we've got to put them back in the ground. We're going to put things in the air, we've got to take things out of the air. You've got to maintain that, that the environmental balance and you can't go disrupting that. It has given, given us a framework for looking at decisions and choices we have to make in our business uh, in terms of how they meet the, the four principles. We still worry about how many trips we make, you know, the kinds of machinery we use and the number of trips we make through the vineyard with that machinery, um, what, we, what we do in different practices and how sustainable those are, how we dispose of the materials that we use in the vineyard, the stakes, the plastic that we use for growing. All these are issues that we never thought about before. There's the social side of it, being around like-minded businesses and finding inspiration there. The other is having a set of principles to judge our actions against, to kind of go down a, a checklist and saying, am I doing something that affects you know, the world in these four different ways? And then I can go forward and take action. And we're still training upper management, but we're pushing with eco indicators earlier on to show that we are having a positive impact from an economic as well as an environmental standpoint. At the time, even a conservative controller accountant that we had, uh, I just didn't think he could, he could you know, he would get into this at all. But they all went to the training and they came back and said, yeah, this is, this is for us. It's so embedded in our processes that we, you know, oh yeah, of course, that's the social equity side, that's number four. We, you know, we just, it's part of our language anyway, so I almost feel like it's not even, it's already integrated into who we are. What we've really done is adapted those principles into more workable solutions for Nike. So we have, you know, they're, they're there at the base of many of our design principles, but we've layered on top of them as, as we've learned additional things. We realize that we are creating a new path and we're looking for others and there are many in the museum community, for instance, who are adapting natural step principles to the work that we do and we hope that we can provide some examples to others based on our own experience. Because public utilities plan well into the future, I think the natural step conditions are, are a good framework for, uh, for looking at long term, using back casting, using process mapping to, to really target where, where they're going. Put yourself 30 or 40 or 50 or 100 years in the future and you say, you know, I'm now in the future, um, I'm seeing something that's really positive, that's supporting life on the planet, and here's the features that it incorporates. Now, what do I have to do today in order to achieve that objective? Thank you for helping us celebrate our first 10 years in Oregon. We invite you to join our members who have pledged to become carbon neutral, toxin free, to honor the land, and most importantly, honor our people.